Hey guys, so I'm back today with a Disney World haul for you. I'm also going to be putting in like Sephora stuff that I brought. Um, I've got a few things from the Kennedy Space Centre and Ulta and um, like Walmart and stuff. Um, it's been a couple of months since I've been and I feel like if I don't put this haul up now, I'm never going to do it. So yeah, I'm going to try and crack on and do it as quick as I can um, and if you're just here for the Disney part the Disney stuff I'm going to show first and then I'm going to show all the makeup and stuff after just in case you don't want to watch it all um but yeah excuse the lighting I did have a ring light um and I broke it so and we're going with this backdrop for now um just because yeah so first of all I'm going to show you a teddy that I had it's the Mickey from the dinosaur land um Liam actually won it mate so yeah so I obviously won the little mini I think he could win a Mickey as well and I'm sure he did win a Mickey and he gave it to the little boy um, when we were there because obviously there was a boy against him and obviously he won him. So yeah, so I had the little Mickey, Minnie even, and so yeah, so she's cute. While I was there as well, there's a lot of accessories actually looking at this, what I've brought. But um, I got obviously the ultimate mini ears, so I won't put them on because they actually match really well, if you can see them there. But these, I think these were like $30, I'm going to say. I know everything's gone up in price at the moment. And then also while I was there, I did get a, like, one of these hats. If you can just see that, because basically I suffer with, like, the sun. Like, I always need a hat on my head a lot of the time because I get headaches and stuff when I don't. So obviously I got one of these hats while I was there and it was like multicolour so it seems to just fit all the outfits that I took with me. Um, again, I feel like this was $30. I, I can't tell you the like the prices for it because I chucked all the receipts away. But yeah, um, I did wear this a lot when I went to the pool and um, when we was at Coronado Springs because that's where we stopped. Then we went to Basin. Um, I absolutely love going to Basin. It's a bit like Lush but obviously Disney inspired and I got a bath bomb from there. Um, I can't remember which O that was it. It's the aerial bath bomb, if you can just see that there. And it smells really nice. I feel like it's a florally smell. Because it does say on the the front of it, tingly clean. So it's like a clean scent. But I decided to get the aerial one. But I know you can get like different like pictures of the different bath bombs. So obviously I got aerial. But I know they do like Minnie, Mickey. Um, and I, th I think it's a couple of the other princesses as well. I only got one this time. The last time I went to Basin, I brought absolutely loads. So, yeah. And then I got from their pavilion the... I think it was the Germany pavilion, I'm going to say. But I got the Werber's Original Vanilla Creams. And I also got the Creamy Caramel Filled ones. So, yeah. From the Germany pavilion in Epcot. And then from the Japan pavilion, I got the... Super colas because I've had these before and um, they're super sour and if you love super sour like me then you're gonna love these so yeah I bought these as well actually there is a price on this these were five dollars forty nine and then obviously um, plus tax as well then one of my favorite purchases while I was away I got the Walt Disney mug if you can just see that this was fourteen ninety nine if anyone wants to know if it's still available it's got like a retro vibe to it with the colors if you can just see that and i just i love it i thought it was really classy but at the same time still quite a lot of color going on um so yeah this was actually my favorite purchase while i was there um so yeah and then if you know me you know i love coca-cola <laughs> um and obviously there's a coca-cola shop um so i just got like a little uh coca-cola pen because i usually get a pen everywhere i go um, and obviously it's the um, shape of a coca-cola bottle and i feel like this this was 2.95 um so yeah and it just come in this really cute little bag thing so yeah i got that and um i didn't get that much from walt disney world this this time around because usually i wear i've been three times now and um, i brought absolutely loads of makeup the last time i went so i was like no I'm going to control myself. I'm not going to get as much Disney stuff this time. Um, we did actually dine at Disney's um, Rivi Rivi Rivia um, Resort. And obviously we had breakfast with the characters there. And obviously we got this little like um, postcard. So obviously I kept that. And then obviously I just kept my maps. Because I'm one of the people I just keep everything. And have it in like a little memory box. So apart from that, I feel like that is all the Walt Disney stuff. Which is really good for me. Moving on to the makeup from sephora 
what I got from Sephora was the Cryro Rubber with Thermine Collagen. Um, I've got the pink one. I've had this. I feel like I had the blue one before. I'm sure my mum brought me the blue one. I'm sure. Or the green one. So, yeah, I decided to get that. I feel like this was about $10, I'm going to say. Um, and, again, it's really good for firming. Um, it's a mask, if anyone didn't know. And then makeup as well. I got I actually got quite a lot of skincare looking at the stuff in here. What I've got. Um, I got some, you know, the typical Sephora wipes. Because we don't have a Sephora in the UK, um, which is sad. We should have a Sephora um but yeah so i got the coconut wipes because i always tend to buy wipes from sephora when i go i brought the coconut cabana cream um by sol Janeiro, um in the blue like the blue one i've had the original and the original was amazing i remember when i had sunburn when i went last not last year the last time i went and it just it really is the sunburn but this stuff is amazing and this is coconut scent as well so love this stuff highly recommend this so yeah i then brought one of my favorite brands charlotte tilbury the airbrush flawless setting spray which i can't wait to try because anything by charlotte tilbury and i love it so yeah and then i think the last, these are the last two things i brought from there again didn't buy much makeup from sephora but i got the um strawberry face mask and the watermelon face mask so yeah and i can't wait to try them as well so they were all from sephora i then went to bath and body works and brought two things from there so i brought the the strawberry pound cake and this smells like mcdonald's strawberry milkshake it literally smells exactly the same as it it just smells amazing oh god it smells amazing but yeah and I just look how cute that is. Like I just love the way Bath and Body Works do the candles. I know Next sell it now in the UK, but they only do like a certain amount of flavours. But yeah, so love this. And then the other thing that I brought from Bath and Body Works was the Copper Coconut Sands um like fragrance mist. And this again just so it smells exactly what it is. So it's coconut. So yeah, this smells amazing as well. So, and then the last bit of makeup that I brought was from Walmart because, again, we don't have Walmart in the UK. And I got the Vivid HD Definition Lashes and it comes with, like, this liner thing with it. But we can't get these in the UK because when I go away to America, I try and pick up stuff that I can't really get in this country just because I think if I can get it here then and it's the same price or cheaper, there's no point. But, yeah, so I got these lashes and they look insane if you can see that i got them i got the nyx the eyebrows in i don't think what shade i got actually i've got it in cool blonde i've heard a lot of people rave about that so i just picked that up and then i got the hard candy found it's like a foundation and um foundation and concealer together and it's meant to be full coverage i've heard a lot of people talk about that again i don't think we can get hard candy in this country and then i picked up just a couple of nyx um lip liners is it lip liners yeah lip liners in they look if you look at the camera they all literally look pretty similar colors but they are different i mean there's one in shade natural new truffle nude pink and peek a bit neutral i'm sure i had four, five of these i feel like i'm missing one but yeah so that was everything that i brought from walmart and then the last say the last i meant Ulta. sorry but i went to Ulta as well i only picked two things from Ulta though and i picked up the eye primer party proof from colourpop colourpop is such a good brand and then i actually bought something from kendall but it's it's actually Kylie's cosmetics, but it's the Kendall um the Kendall Jenner ver version. So I actually picked this up as well, which is like I think it's a lipstick. I'm gonna say lipstick. Yeah. And this like little gloss hair. 
so I picked up that as well and that's all the makeup that I actually brought um which is good for me I mean it's probably fair for watching this guy that's a lot of makeup but for me the last time I went I actually brought a humongous amount of makeup and then the last little part I'm going to show you is the stuff that I brought from Kennedy Space Centre so we went to Kennedy Space Centre where we went away and it was amazing absolutely if you've never been definitely go um and obviously we've got a little bag with all the stuff in um obviously a kelsey thing used to buy a pen so it just brought me um the asa pen there and then brought me a t-shirt a t-shirt yeah top which just has apollo nasa kennedy space on center on it if you can just see that there and the reason i actually brought this one is because a lot of the tops they were selling there just had NASA on them and I actually wanted it to say Kennedy Space Centre and this was $20 obviously and then plus tax as well um, but yeah so that's one of the reasons why I decided to, to get it because I thought it had its own unique print on it then and then I feel like the, now I've got two more things sorry and then the last two things I got was the um, pin from Kennedy Space Centre and then I also got the magnet to go in the fridge because I feel like that's a standard thing when you go away on holiday to get a magnet. So, and I feel like that is everything that I brought when I went to America. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the America video that I feel like I've been putting off for ages just because obviously I've been going um, traveling to other places and just been recording that because I'm more like, um, I like vlogging things more. But yeah, um, hopefully the quality of the camera is not too bad. Um, and that's all. I hope you all have a nice day and I'll see you soon. Bye. Also, before I forget, I just found these pins in the um, bag when I was looking through other things and forgot to put them in. But yeah, I did actually pick up these two pins while I was there as well. And that's the 50th anniversary pin that they did and also the Coronado Springs where we stopped.